Welcome Average Apple users. Today we're going to discuss the UTM software which allows you to run virtual, uh, run virtual machines on iOS devices. We're going to specifically be talking about how to back up and restore your UTM virtual image files in case you have to ever reinstall the UTM software or it crashes and you have to uh, and you lose the virtual image file. So to begin, we're going to go ahead and go to our iPad. As you can see, I am already loaded into my virtual uh, Windows 7 file. Um, and I actually have Google Chrome installed. So it's not just the default installation. I've actually installed Google Chrome on, my, on this Windows. So we're going to go ahead and go shut down. All right, now that we're at, at the ba basic screen for the UTM, um, the proper way to shut down UTM is to hit the uh, X in the upper left-hand corner and then hit yes. Once you've done that and the uh, UTM exit, exits, you can go ahead and swipe up and kill the UTM app. We're gonna go ahead and go into files on our iPad. We want to make sure that we are uh, on the locations that we are on my iPad. And we're going to just create a new folder. And we're just going to call this UTM Backup. Now I'm creating this on my iPad directly. If you have a flash drive connected to your iPad, you could easily just create it right on your flash drive. I'm just doing it directly on my iPad to, uh, to show you. So we're going to go into the UTM folder. And then we're going to long press on our UTM file. We're going to hit copy. And we're going to go back to on my iPad. We're going to go into the folder we just created. We're going to long press again. And we're going to hit paste. So now we have our uh, our file backed up. So if we go back to on my iPad and we actually go back into the UTM folder, if we long press again and we hit delete and then we just exit the file system. If I go back into UTM, you see there's no longer a Windows file uh, there. Okay, This is where restoring the file is going to come in. So to restore the file, we're going to hit the plus sign in the upper right hand corner. We, you want to name it the same thing. So we're going to hit Windows. In my case, it was Windows 7. And we can go, uh, I've noticed we can go up to one and one and a half gigabytes of memory. So that's one, five, three, six megabytes of memory, which is 1.5 gigabytes of memory. We want to leave the CPU count still as two. And we're going to just hit set up drive. Just like if we were creating a brand new one. We're going to hit plus and we're going to hit path. Then we'll hit plus again and we're going to hit create. Again, we're going to do an HDA.IMG file and we're going to go 50,000 megabytes. Leave it as expanding. Hit save. Hit new drive and then hit drives. Hit the plus sign again. Hit path select and select the drive we just did. Make sure that the CD slash DVD drive is unchecked. Hit drives. Hit create VM. I'm going to scroll down and I always open configuration after creation. Make sure that is checked. Hit save. Then the configuration file opens. We want to go ahead and hit input. And I hit direct input so I can use an external keyboard. Hit configuration. And hit done. It creates the file. So now we have another file on this system. 
we're not going to launch this file. We're going to hit the X button. And then we're going to hit yes to close out of the uh, UTM. We're going to scroll, uh, swipe up. Kip force quit UTM. And then we're going to go into back into our file system. Make sure we're still on, on my iPad. You see we still got two folders now. So what we're going to do is go to, into our the, our backup folder that we created, long press, and copy. Hit on my iPad, go back into the UTM folder directly, long press, and delete. Long press again, hit paste. Go back to on my iPad, we can actually uh, quit out of the file system. If we go back into UTM, it still says Windows 7. But now when we launch it, it will launch into the windows that we had saved previously through the backup. You'll notice that because Google Chrome will still be installed. Once this loads up, I will be back. All right, we're at the welcome screen and getting ready to start Windows. And as you can see, Windows has restarted and it is the exact way the way I had it before we deleted the file. Google Chrome is already installed and we are ready to go. And that is how you back up and restore UTM Im uh, virtual image files with on your iPad. If this video was helpful to you, please uh, hit give a like. Also, subscribe down below. And thank you for watching.